Mount Mayon in the province of Albay in the Philippines is again rumbling. And that restlessness has been going on for some time now. The ultra-active stratovolcano in the region of Bicol is leading to its reputation. The mountain towers with a height of 2,463 meters or 8,081 feet. Some folks say the dragon in the belly of the volcano is ready to show its furious explosion even as it has been spewing smoke and ashes already. Molten and hot magma flows in one of its gully as observed and captured by netizens. Big and small rocks are also being spewed out from the mouth of the volcano. Residents living around and in the vicinity of the mountain are on their toes day and night. Thanks to the vigilance of the FIWOLKS, the government agency tasked to monitor the activity of the volcano. The agency releases periodic bulletin update about the current state of volcanic activity. Here, we share clips and stills of the restless Mayon in various stages, close-ups of the crater with a flowing magma. Other stills also show the smoke bellowing on its crater. The ash being spewed by the volcano would envelope the covered established danger zones, when on top of its game, Mayon would make the areas affected dark with its ashes and turn visibility even on the road to zero. Many times, construction workers near the area had to cower in fear as the flying rocks passed by overhead. The Mayon eruption is totally disrupting the lives of the residents as evacuation is the primary focus of local governments. As the restless Mayon continue with its threat, the 9km danger zone is threatened already. Inmates from the Kamalik town in Albay were evacuated to the Gaspi city jail as with inmates from Ginobatan and Santo Domingo towns. Local businesses are also affected. Airline flights to and from the city of Ligaspi are being cancelled. Even the airport for the city of Naga in Pili Town, Camarinisur province cancels flights to and from Manila in Naga. Suspension of regular class schedules in many areas also imposed. As the most marginalized residents are affected, they fear for their lives and safety. They also worry about their livestock and property, which runs in the direct way of destruction. What is ironic during Mayon's life-threatening activity and display of its destructive capability is that tourists, both from foreign and local, flock to the city of Ligaspi and neighboring towns to witness the fury of Mayon. It has always been that way and there is no sign the inflow of tourists will change. The periodic Mayon eruption paved the way for the transfer of the Karen City Airport from near the slopes of the volcano to the village in Alobo in Daraga town of Albay. The new airport, now identified as the Bicol International Airport, cheered to serve the Bicol region not only for the immediate provinces of Albay and Sursogon, is still under construction. It is being marred with delays and errors in building and site plans. Mayon's volcanic activity is a blessing in disguise. The international airport was finally established for the province of Albay instead of the original proposition to be in Camarinisur. Previously, there was a plan to build a Bicol International Airport somewhere in Camarinisur to replace the small aging Nagapili Airport. According to the records of the Philippine Tourism Agency, there are more tourists recorded in Camarinisur and Naga City as compared to Albay and Ligaspi. Observers wonder if the relocation of the airport from its current location will guarantee that the new one can operate safely even with the volcano in its fury. Consider how the airport in Naga is being affected by the Mayun eruption when it is so far away already. For the moment, we offer our thoughts and prayers for the safety of the people directly affected by disastrous activity of Mayun.